the best and the worst products from the viral skincare brand Glow Recipe. Hello, hello and welcome to Skincare Simplified. My name is Nipun, your skincare bestie, now a certified skincare consultant. And in today's video, we will deep dive into the 20 products of Glow Recipe, the viral trending skincare brand that's always bringing delicious fruit-based skincare products for us. I have tried about 17 of the 20 products. So today I will tell you, based on my personal experience and cosmetic chemistry, whether these products are good, can be avoided, overpriced and everything else before we get started do consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video if you enjoy this kind of content let me also remind you the september giveaway is on two lucky winners will win skincare boxes worth 10,000 rupees or 500 dirhams so keep watching this video right to the end you will see questions throughout the video on the screen give me your answers in the comments below now let's get into it we will start with the category of cleansers. The first product we are talking about is the Blueberry Cleanser. Now, this is a gentle foaming cleanser. It is pretty unique, retails for $34. It is pricey, it is expensive for a cleanser, but it's not crazy. There are a lot of crazy expensive cleansers in the market. The key ingredients is blueberry extract, which is amazing as a brightening ingredient, hyaluronic acid, seaweed extract. It has AHAs like lactic acid and glycolic acid. Now, given the fact that it has gentle AHAs, this kind of cleanser will work on all skin types but particularly normal combination oily skin types if you have hyperpigmentation this is a good one to look at my skin is extremely dry so initially it was all good when i was using it morning and evening but over two three weeks i felt this was kind of starting to dry me out because of the actives in the product this is an active based product this is something that you should know but having said that it is a good product i give it an 8 on 10. The second cleanser is the cleansing balm and if you know me you know I am a big advocate for double cleansing so I've actually gone through two jars of this particular product this also retails for $34 and given the cleansing balm category I don't think it is crazy from a price perspective yes there are other products that are very affordable like Hemish like vanilla they are more affordable cleansing balms this one is a little bit pricey but it kind of does the job however for me particularly when it comes to taking off all of the makeup like waterproof mascara and things like that i didn't feel this product actually performed as good in fact i think a cheaper alternative like vanilla or hemish uh, these are ones that perform way way better when it comes to really taking off waterproof makeup but if you're just looking at sunscreen light makeup this does the job i give this a 7 on 10. Moving to category number two, we've got toners and here we have the super viral BHA PHA toner, which is the watermelon toner. This is obviously an active based toner. This has salicylic acid or in other words, BHA. This also has a mild exfoliant, which is PHA. Now this is a product which is fantastic because it is super, super gentle. Ideal for normal to oily skin, combination to oily skin, skin that has open pores, skin that has comodonal acne or any kind of bumpiness and underskin acne this is actually a fantastic product while this is gentle enough to be used every single day i don't really recommend using any active based toner every single day but even if you did this is the kind of product that will not dry your skin out it is very very gentle i of course recommend it using it three to four times a week on a maximum basis having said that a great product for all of the concerns that i listed i give this a nine on ten in the same category we also have a mist now this is a product which is basically a face mist the watermelon face mist it retails for 29 dollars and honestly in my view this product can be completely avoided because you don't really need a fancy mist you can just about use water this is overpriced unnecessary not required so i give this product really because it should not exist a 5 on 10. Category number three, which I personally love and a lot of people don't care about, which is eye creams. Now in the eye creams, they've got the one of the first products they launched was their avocado melt retinol eye sleeping mask. Fantastic product, really, really good when it comes to fine lines, wrinkles, overall, overall hydration of the under eye area. But from an effectiveness perspective, let me tell you, if you're a young person, like in your mid twenties, you don't have a lot of deep fine lines and wrinkles. This product will definitely help in smoothing out the lines. It will help with hydration. But if you have mature skin, like I'm saying you're 30, 35 and above, I'm 36 years old. If you've got deep set lines, 
then this product is actually not that effective and it is quite pricey so depends on where you are in your life if you're a young person in your 20s definitely give it a go if you genuinely have deep fine lines things like that this will not work for you i give this a 6 on 10. Now let's talk about the newest release, the Guava Vitamin C Eye Serum. I've been personally testing this product for the last two weeks using it morning and evening and here's my take on it. It does have a mild brightening effect. It does hydrate your under eyes, but it does not work on your dark circles. Not the way the Boots number no. 7 does, not the way the Kiehl's uh, you know, dark, circle eye correct, uh, dark Circle Correcting Eye Cream does or even not the way the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright does. These three creams that I just mentioned are absolutely iconic when it comes to actually helping with brightening the under eye area. This is not that great, but like I said, if you're just about starting out, you have very little darkness, you just need a little bit of hydration, this is a product you can opt for, but for genuine dark circles, this will not work. I give this again a five on 10. Another product they have that in the same category, which is eye care, is the depuffing roller, which is for $10. Haven't bought it, will not buy it, not necessary. You can literally use a cold spoon. So that's my take on it. Unnecessary pod product, you don't really need it. 5 on 10. Category number four, we're going to talk about serums and we will start with the product that literally broke the internet, the niacinamide watermelon dewdrops. The niacinamide serum that everyone's been going goo goo gaga over and I am honestly on bottle number four. So I am no exception to the rule. It is an amazing, beautiful, gentle serum, does not irritate your skin. A lot of times niacinamide has the ability to kind of irritate your skin, especially the formula from The Ordinary, which is 10% plus zinc. It is a bit irritating. The inky list one, however, is perfectly fine. This is non-irritating. I don't know of a single person who's used it and had a breakout or a rash or any form of inner irritation. Having said that, I do not feel this actually gives you the benefit of niacinamide in terms of glow and working on hyperpigmentation. Because if you are using niacinamide for the purpose of hyperpigmentation, dark spots, anti-aging, that kind of overall brightening, you definitely need a product that has a higher concentration of niacinamide. And in my opinion, those are from brands like Inky List, Ordinary, Minimalist, Chemist at Play, so and so forth. This is more of a primer product and that is how I have reached, you know, bottle number four because I like to really use it as a primer. I kind of sometimes mix it in my foundation or even my BB cream and it is gorgeous. So I give this a product a 10 out of 10 but as a makeup primer, not as a pure skincare product. Now there is another serum from Glow Recipe that kind of doesn't get the attention it deserves. It is a launch from early this year, which is the Strawberry Salicylic Acid Serum. This is a beautiful product. I've tried it personally, used it while my skin was breaking out. I had like a whole breakout of hormonal acne on my neck. This is an amazing product, salicylic acid, azelic acid, AHAs, a great blend of actives that you need for acne. This is the kind of product that will work very, very well on comodonal acne, bumpy skin, but will also work on cystic acne. And I can tell you that from my own experience because I used it and my breakout was cystic in nature. So this is a product that is fantastic for that purpose. Now, the way this is marketed is as a product that you can use morning and evening, seven days a week and do not do that because while I try to use it every single day, I, my skin tended, uh, did tend to get a little irritated but this is a product that you can comfortably use three to four times a week it is very very good when it comes to comodonal acne if you have oily skin it will work better but even if you have dry sensitive skin with cystic acne the product will give you some good results it is a product that deserves a lot more love and attention i give this an 8 on 10. The third product in the serum category is the one that I haven't tried and that is the Guava Vitamin C Serum. Now the reason I've not been able to try this one is because I have been really busy trying other vitamin C serums and trying to squeeze a new vitamin C serum into my routine of all the products that I'm testing out has been a challenge but I'm going to give you my review of this product purely based on the ingredients and the formulation that I've seen online. Five types of vitamin C, ethyl ascorbic acid, tetrahedric ascorbate, it has uh, transamic acid. It is a really, really good formulation, which has 
pure brightening ingredients which can definitely work on dark spots and hyperpigmentation. However, this will work to brighten your skin. Will this work on hyperpigmentation melasma? No. Because if you want this to work on your hyperpigmentation and melasma, I would definitely suggest that in addition to this, do add another serum to your routine, which is Alpha Arbutene. So the Glow Recipe one first, then Alpha Arbutene from any brand. I love Inky List, you all know that. But otherwise, if you don't have major skin issues, this will give you brightness. If you have dark spots and issues like that, then do add an Alpha Arbutene to this because that will make the combination even more potent. But from an ingredient perspective and what I've seen and the reviews I've read, I give this a 7 on 10. The fourth serum we're going to talk about is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, the Plump Plump Serum by Glow Recipe. This again went kind of viral. Every skin influencer was using it. I also fell into the trap, tried the product. The product is not bad, but it's $44. $44 for a Hyaluronic Acid Serum, in my mind, doesn't make sense. Specifically, when you have others available like Wishy Mineral 89, which is beautiful. You've also got Skin Proud 2% Hyaluronic Acid Jelly, which is my all-time favorite, which really does hydrate and moisturize it is a great combination so for me this is an average hyaluronic acid serum it does exactly what any hyaluronic acid serum would do it is not life-changing in any way but and for this very reason i give it a 6 on 10. the fifth serum we're going to talk about again deserves a lot more love than it actually receives it is the avocado recovery serum now i have to admit i have not used this serum regularly I only use it when my skin is either irritated, when I overdo my actives, or if I kind of do something wrong in my routine, along with my Sea Suplast, which is the best. But this is a very beautiful serum which really, really calms and hydrates your skin. It doesn't matter in what condition your skin is, if you apply this, your skin will literally like never burn. It does protect your broken skin barrier. And for that reason, even at $44, I think it is a fantastic product. I do recommend it, especially if you have dry sensitive skin, or even if you have combination skin that is sensitive, if you're healing from acne and your skin is kind of, you know, your skin barrier is damaged, this is a product your skin will love. I give this an eight on 10. Moving on to the next category, which is creams, let's first talk about the Hyaluronic Acid Plump Plump Cream. A nice creamy whipped formula. This is lightweight but extremely hydrating. The uh, product costs you about $39. It does what it says. So it is hydrating, it will plump your skin, it is non-irritating, super gentle, it's all of those lovely things, but it's $39 and for that very reason, I don't feel it's worth it and which is why I never repurchase the product. I give this a 6 on 10. However, the watermelon juice moisturizer is a boon for anyone who has normal oily or combination skin. Specifically, if you have oily skin, you will kind of love it a little more because it gives you all the hydration, but doesn't kind of, you know, go crazy or with the oil levels on your skin. I didn't like this product soup a lot because my skin type is dry, but everyone who has combination to oily skin swears by this product and I highly recommend it. I give it a nine on 10. The next product in the same category is the product that was really, really awaited and that is the Watermelon Glow Recipe Sunscreen. This product got a lot of backlash on the internet. Some people said it was, it had a white cast. Some people said it was pilling. In fact, most people said it was pilling. I actually got to try the product at the Sephora store. I did not try it on my face. I did try it on my hands and my arms. And my problem was I didn't like the texture and it started to pill even though I had minimal skincare product on my arms i just had a little bit of spf lotion which was applied right in the morning and i tried this product in the evening and yet it started to pill and it just didn't feel good so i never went ahead and made the purchase and thank god because right after that the internet was flooded with really negative reviews so this product given all the debate and the fact that i didn't like it when i tried it i would give this a 5 on 10. And our final category, the category of masks. This is what Glow Recipe actually started with. This first started with the watermelon sleeping mask. And at the time when they got this mask, it was not available in the UAE or any of the GCC countries. I actually had friends of mine from the United States send it to me because I was so desperate to try it. And oh my God, this is one product, the only one product in Glow Recipe that I would say I officially hate. And that is because it was pilling all over my face. It got into my hair by the time I woke up in the morning. My skin didn't feel 
any positive change in fact i had to actually wash my hair that morning to get all of that product out of my hair it was a total mess i know there are some people on the internet who love this product but i can never seem to understand the hype or its benefit so for me this product is definitely the worst on the line it's a three on ten speaking of face masks let me tell you about one more product which was my absolute favorite from the glow recipe line but i believe it has now been discontinued it was the avocado melt retinol face sleeping mask i purchased it last year from cult beauty it was available then not available now not on their website so i guess they've stopped producing it but that was my absolute go-to retinol sleeping mask a gorgeous product that was a 10 on 10 for me but it's no longer available but a mask they still do have which is a launch from last year is the aha clay mask now this is a product i was very excited about got it from cult beauty even before sephora had it here in the uae but this is a product that really disappointed me so this is supposed to be a clarifying clay mask that doesn't dry down so you need to because it has actives you need to leave it on for like two three minutes and then wipe it off with a washcloth and then kind of wash your face now it has active so it will give you an instant brightening effect supposedly but it doesn't it is also supposed to tighten your pores and make your skin look all plump it doesn't so this is a product which was over promised and under delivered and for me this is a 5 on 10 and in the last category we've got lip products two of these lip balms a blueberry and the watermelon one 22 dollars oh my god yes hydrating i've tried the watermelon one not the blueberry one very very hydrating very beautiful but at 22 dollars it is super overpriced so for me anything that is crazy overpriced and not required goes and gets a 5 on 10. so this my friends was the roundup for all of the glow recipe products they used to have another product in the vitamin c serum range which was called the pineapple serum i tried that way back in 2019 when they had it it was a good product i would have given if it was available today i would have given it a 7 on 10 uh, but it is no longer in production it has been replaced by the guava vitamin c serum so this my friends was the entire roundup on glow recipe let me know how you like this video if you did then go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel i create new videos every sunday wednesday and friday also if you want to see more such detailed reviews from other brands leave that for me in the comments below you would have seen questions on the screen throughout this video so go ahead give me your answers that will help you qualify for the giveaway i will see you now on friday until then have a great time i love you all so much bye